Okay, so I found a, a nice, simple, clean theme that I'm, I'm happy with. And now what we need to do is to start optimizing the WordPress blog that we're going to be setting up so that it's um, search engine friendly. WordPress blogs are fairly search engine friendly, as I said before, but there are a few things that we can do to make it even more search engine friendly. Now, first of all, one of the things that uh, I think we need to do is uh, I like personally my websites to have www.bestworkoutvideos.com. I did see uh, an interview once with uh, Sir Tim Berniers, the guy who sort of created the web, as it were, um, and he was saying that he regretted having the protocol of having a www dot before everything, actually, but it's become such the norm that people expect it. So we're going to um, do some changes to this, and one of them will be um, to make this appear as www dot. So um, we go to the um, install the, the dashboard, which remember we access via um, domain name and then wp hyphen admin and we put in our admin name and our password and then we can access it now so this is the dashboard and what we need to do um, I've been searching some plugins which I'll come to later what we need to do this is the dashboard is scroll down here to this button here called settings okay and then general And here we have the site title. So if you want to change the title, you should um, best, obviously, we want to, our main keyword phrase um, in that title. And then a tagline. Um, again, we want our main keyword phrase in there. Um, now here, you'll see the WordPress address. And this is where we want to put www, no, wrong place, silly me, sorry. After the uh, backslash is www dot, okay, and the site address. So this is the site that will appear um, in Google when it when when it appears in the in the top um, window here when when we're looking for it or putting it in. Okay, so we've changed that. Now we're going to have to come out and then go back in again. Because we've changed, we put www dot in front. Don't put any more. Don't put anything else. That's that's all I want you to do. If you start changing other things, then um, you might not be able to access the, the page, or the page might not work. All we need to do is just have it so that it's the www dot bit in front, okay? And then um, you can change the time zone that you're in if you want. Um, I'm not going to do that for now and any sort of um, date configurations if you want, um, but that's it's not really important. Um, so we'll just put save changes, okay? Now it's logged us out, because as you, if you can see up here now, it's got www.bestworkoutvideos.com and it's gone to the login page. So now we have to log back in, just use the same password and uh, domain. And it's because we've changed the address slightly from just purely best-workout-videos.com to www. Um, switch that on. Okay, so now we're ready to make all the other changes. So the next thing um, is come to writing. Down, so down by the settings again. Um, that's very quick there, sorry. Um, so down by settings on the left-hand side, put writing. And... Um, what we're going to do is just scroll down here. If you want, um, there's nothing to do here um, at the moment, so we'll come back to here. What we're going to do is going to change these post categories. We're going to put some, add some categories, and then we'll come back and change the default post categories. The categories are like um, sort of like additional pages. They're not actual pages, but they're sort of. Um, if you make a post, you can list it under certain categories, so it's easier for people to search for. Um, so next button, I'm just going through these one by one, and that way I'll remember what all the changes we need to make, is is reading. Um, that's all fine. This just merely says on the front page, you'll have your latest posts, and you can show up to 10 uh, posts. Some people like to change that to five. 
um, and any syndication feed. So if you have an RSSS feed, which your website will have, um, it will list the number of feeds that that has. But again, don't worry about that. That's all fine. We're happy with that. No changes to make there really on this occasion. Um, don't worry about discussion, media, or privacy. Oh yeah, we're going to come back to privacy. So privacy. Here we are. Just make sure here. So in the privacy settings, it says, "I would like my site to be visible to everyone, including search engines, etc." If it's clicked on here, then obviously the search engines won't find it and you won't rank at all. So make sure that that top one, I would like my site to be visible to anyone, every, everyone, okay? That's really important. Usually that's the default setting, but just check that that is the case. So that's privacy settings. Now this is really important, this bit, permalinks. If we just go to um, best workout videos, and this is a default post, we're gonna get rid of this post, but if we click on it, here you'll see See after bestworkoutvideos.com, it has a sort of question mark P equals one. And if you add posts, it just comes up with P equals something. But basically not very reader friendly um, tags after that backstroke there. Yeah. So we want to change that. So here we are back into settings down at privacy, uh, uh, sorry, permalinks. Yeah. So we click on permalinks, click on permalinks. And we're going to change the appearance of that. And here you'll see, so this is the default setting, is this sort of number. Um, every time you add a post, then the U URL, so the address of that particular page, is the main domain name plus this sort of number. And as I say, it's not very search engine friendly. And personally, it's not also very user friendly. Um, you can do it as dates, so if, but I mean, that's really there for sort of blogging, um, if you're having a diary and stuff and again that's not that's not what we're doing so what we're going to do is put in our custom structure and what I want you to do is type the following okay and type it exactly as I've typed it now I've already um, got it here I've, I've put it on a notepad here okay just copy it I'll put this in the email uh, for you, hopefully. Okay, so it's backslash, then it's percentage, category, percentage, backslash, percentage, post name, percentage, backslash. Okay, just as that is, and then just go save changes. Okay, now just go back to the uh, page. Remember, in the old form, it had this sort of horrible, ugly, just sort of numbers and symbols for the post. Let's just refresh that post page. And now you can see it says uncategorized, hello world. Hello world is the blog post name. Uncategorized is the category name. Okay, and we're gonna change the categories to one of our keyword phrases that we've selected, remember the keyword phrases. So when we post a blog, it will have a keyword phrase in the domain one of our keyword phrases as a category and our title will more than likely contain the keyword friendly uh, key, apologies the keyword phrase so what you end up with um, is a very uh, search engine friendly url which is this this bit here and that's what we're trying to do so that's all the fiddly bits. Now you need to do that, all these things straight away because you can't really, if you go back and change this after you've made posts and stuff, then you could end up getting what they call um, redirects and, and stuff where they can't find the page and you get that horrible 404 page uh, that says, you know, can't find the page. <coughs> so once you've done this, um, you can't change it. So make sure you do it before we you do any um, posts or set up any pages. So that's all the settings for now. We're going to come back to, to the one about the categories. Next, um, what I want to do is add some plugins. So in the next video, we'll be looking at the plugins, how to install them, how to set them up, and basically going through the six essential plugins that I think um, a WordPress 
blog should certainly start with. There are some other plugins, but we're going to be looking at the six essentials that I want you to set up. And we'll make some minor adjustments as well um, to the add some category pages. And then we're basically will be ready to start adding content to our website. Um, so watch the next video to discover all about the plugins that I'm going to need you to uh, install on your WordPress site. Thank you.